This is the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And it says, it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. All right. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. All right. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I, don't, and I want to give all the peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakiam that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. You know, uh, Adawan, Adawan Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the, to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kagadash, is going to be basically on going in on Romans, the eighth chapter, all right, from tw the verse 28 on down, you know, which the whole chapter is, is Yapa, it's beautiful, man, all right, the whole, the whole Bible, all right, the whole scriptures. All right, because why is the word of Yahweh Bashim man? All right, is yeah, what our Lord Yahusha says, Lo, he comes in the volume of the book, is written to him. All right, and these words are faithful and true. All right, and the Lord gave us the understanding of, of the scriptures, all right, to comfort us in these last times. You know, so this is the book of Romans, chapter 20. I mean, Romans, chapter 8, verse 20, it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High. So if you love Yahweh Bashim Shah, you gotta know that all things. I right, is working I right, for the for your good, all right? Whether you down or right, whether you up, all right? As long as you call it on the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah and you believe, you know, you're doing the works, all right? It's called to what, man. It's all good. All right. Because while the Lord has promised, all right, that what he's gonna gather the elect of the nation Israel, all right, we pray we are part of that number, all right, on that great day in the nation Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right. The Lord made promises to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that what, all right, he's going to give us the land that he promised, all right, to our forefathers, man. All right. And what, he's going to put the law, such commandments in our animal part. All right. He's going to save us from the from the face of our enemies. All right. From Babylon and great, which is America and all the lands where the Lord has scattered. So, so if you believe on, on the Yahweh Shema Shai, all right, he's going to fulfill those promises. Romans 8 and verse 28 says that we know that all things work together for the for good to them that love the most high, to them who are called according to his purpose. All right. And who are called. All right. You say many are called. But few are chosen, man. It's like you. Yeah. All right. This is the book of uh, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14 says for many are called, but you, I mean, it's like, but few are chosen, man. All right? So a lot of men have been called in this truth, but who's the Lord's going to right, ultimately right, choose? All right, the elect of the nation Israel, right, the ones who stood stiffly for their names. All right, the true believers. All right, this book of John, chapter was it three or four, bear with me. Yeah, John chapter four. This is the book of uh, John chapter 4 and verse 21 going to the 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 woman at the well where she was a uh, heathen. All right. This is the book of John chapter f uh, 4 verse 21. It says, Yehosha said unto her, unto her, woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what we worship it's like we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. So salvation is of the, of the Jews, the Israelites. All right. 
so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, or the Lord, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, right? The salvation promises is of the Jews, man. Verse 23, it says, but the hour, it's not but the hour coming, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. So the, the true worshipers, are returning back to Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right, and the Lord is uh, showing that mercy upon all right, the elect, all right, that house of David that's being brought together. All right, because the Lord said He's going to build up the tabernacle of David that has been fallen, that has fallen. All right, and the Lord is closing up the breaches, all right, bringing the tribes back together. All right, to who slot uh, to continue on Romans 8 and 28 says, and We know that all things work together for. Good to them that love Yahweh, Bashim Ashai, to them who are called according to his purpose. All right. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. All right. Going into predestination. Who was predestinated? All right. The elect, the Alahayim. All right. That was with Yahweh Shai. All right. Creating everything. All right, Yahweh Shai and the angels, the Most High Yahweh, I right, created Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai created it. All right, everything else. All right, and the Lord, Yah Most High, gave Yahweh Shai the blueprint. All right, Yahweh Shai and the angels, I right, created everything. All right, this book of Ephesians chapter one. Yep, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse, I started verse 1. It says, Paul, an, an apostle of Yahweh, shall my shout by the will of the Most High to the saints which are at Ephesus. So who are the saints? The Israelites, all right? So this is the the, uh, the letter all right, to the saints in Ephesus, the Israelite, the church, all right? In Ephesus, the believers. It says, and to the faithful in Hamashiach, Yahweh, shall, grace be to you and peace from the Most High. Our Father, and from the Lord, Yahweh shall my shout. Blessed be the Father, so blessed be the Most High, Yahweh, and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh shall my shout, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, man. So we bless, all right, with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, according as He has chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world. So, all right. Lord, we were the elect. We was predestined. We was already chosen from the foundation of the world, all right, to come into this truth and to believe and ultimately be delivered. All right, all right. According as He has chosen us in Him, so this is all the will of Yahweh Bashim uh before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. All right, so holy, separate, without blame. That's why the scripture says, "Examine yourself." All right. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shaman Shah. And what does that mean? Because the Lord, Hosea, the first chapter, Hosea 1, the Lord said, um, Ye are not my people. I think Jeremiah 16, the Lord said, He's going to take His peace away from us. So the Prince of Peace, our Lord Yahweh Shah, had to die on the cross, be that sacrifice, I right, to bring us back to the Heavenly Father, to make peace between the Heavenly Father and Israel. So He adopted us back to the Most High. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shalmashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So this is all the pleasure, the will of Yahweh Shalmashiach. To the praise, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved man, in whom we have redemption through his blood, our Lord Yahweh Shai, and forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace, wherein he have abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he have proposed in himself. All right. So we have known the mystery. All right. All right. In whom we have redemption through the, his blood, the blood of Yahweh, shall forgiveness of sin. The Lord said, uh, Matthew 1, 7, he shall save his people from their sins. All right. Gave us wisdom. I right, have made us know the mystery of His will. All right, according to His good, according to His good pleasure. 
All right. So let's go back to Romans. Romans chapter 8. All right, verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified, man. All right, so we, those whom the Lord predestinated, all right, them he also called. And whom he called, them they are justified. And whom they are justified, they are glorified. So we justify through Yahweh Bashem Rashad, who has called us since the foundation of the world. And what ultimately when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, we he's gonna get glorified and what he's gonna glorify us also. But he has to get his glory. All right. We uh verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? Is the most high be for us? Who can be against us? That's right. If the most high Yahweh Bashem Rashad is with us, who can be against us? All right. We free Yahweh Bashim Rashad. Esau Edom, so called white man, gonna come down having great wrath because he know that he has for a short time. But the Lord said he's gonna disappoint his devices. The Lord said he's gonna lift up that standard. Verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Talking about who Israel. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? What? Because the Lord said, uh, Peter asked, the apostle Peter said, Lord, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? I know, uh, the Lord said, all right, he that have lost, let me just get it. Matthew 19, 27, 28, yeah, 27, yep. Then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. All right. What shall we have therefore? Verse 28, Yahweh, and Yahweh shall say unto them, verily I say unto you, meaning truly I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, or in the reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, man. So the Lord said he's going to give us a hundredfold, we're going to receive everlasting life. All right. Also judging the 12 tribes of Israel, man. All right. All right. Which we going to be perfect. All right. The laws, the statutes are going to be in our inward part. All right. But it's going to be levels. Romans chapter 8. Verse 33. Uh, Who shall lay anything to the charge of the most high's elect? It is the most high, how about you, my shot, that justified. All right, so no one can lay a charge to the Lord's elect because why they're justified through Yah, justified by you, how about you, my shot. Verse 34 Who is he that condemneth? It is Hamashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the most high, who also maketh intercession for us. So, what? Yahweh is our mediator. To me. He's the mediator. All right. First Timothy two and five. It says, "For there is one power Yahweh and one mediator between the Most High men, the man Yahweh Shai Mashiach." All right. So Yahweh Shai is the mediator. Look at this word mediator. He's at the right hand of the Most High. I vouch it for us. Strong's G thirty three sixteen. Thank Strong's G thirty three sixteen. Masites. 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 Masites says one who intervenes between two, either in order to make or restore peace and friendship, or form a compact. Or for rate, uh, rectifying a covenant, a medium of communication, a tributor. All right, so Yahweh is a mediator, a reconciler. All right, he a go between, man, like a lawyer. All right, all right, so the Lord is vouching for us, man. The why do y'all watch my shot? Romans 8 and verse. That's why you got to keep believing, man. 
Are you making intercession for us? Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of the of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation. What's going to separate you from believing in Hamashiach? So tribulation or distress or persecution or famine. None of that tribulation, being distressed, being persecuted. The Lord told us all these things coming. Famine, nakedness. The Lord said we're going to lose things. Peril or the sword. The Lord said Esau was going to throw some brothers in a uh, concentration camp. Be thou faithful to death. You're going to be tried 10 days, which would be in a number of time, uh, a certain amount of days. And some brothers are going to have to be beheaded, as the scripture says. But what? They're going to be risen first with the Lord Yahweh Shai. So, or the sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep to the slaughter. Verse 37. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. So, we're more than conquerors. Uh, uh, Revelation 6, you have to say, Our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, he saw that white horse. All right. And well, he came with, uh, with, I believe he had a bow. He came conquering and to conquer. Actually, how was Shai, man? All right. And the Lord gave us that spirit, that victory mindset. Nay, I say, so I, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the, the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shah, our Lord. So nothing should be able to separate, separate you from Yahweh, Bashem, our Shah. All right, and off is this, John chapter 6, in verse 63, it says, it is the spirit that, uh, yes, like it says, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. So it's the spirit, the inward man, I this word that makes you alive. The flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahusha knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. So the Lord already knew. Verse 65, and he said, Therefore I say unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him, unto him. Of my father. So Yahweh, the most high, has to give I, those men to Yahusha, as it says with John the 14th chapter. Those let me get that. I know my battery about to die, but let me get that. Verse 17. John 7, 17, 17. Yep, this is the book of um, John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. All right. So the Lord, Heavenly Father, gave us to Yahusha. All right. Lord, when we part of that leg, it says, And now they have known all the things that whatsoever I have given that thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all are mine, sorry, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. All right? So that's a beautiful thing in itself. All right. The Heavenly Father, you know, gave the elect unto Yahweh Shai. All right. So nothing should be able to se uh, separate you from the love of the Most High. All right. Through our Lord Yahweh Shai. So let's go back to John chapter 6. See, 3 because it's, uh, it's more. Two. Sixty-five says, and he said, and he said, John chapter six verse sixty-five says, and he said, therefore I say unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. All right, so many people they left. All right, they left from following our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, things separated them from from all right, from believing. They got offended. All right. Verse 67. It says, Then said Yahweh unto the twelve, Will ye go 
So will you also go away? So he asked him twice, said, will you go also away? Verse 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou has the words of eternal life. So P Apostle Peter, he said, where, where, where are we going to go? You have the words to everlasting life, to eternal life. Verse 69. And we believe that sure, so, and we believe and are sure that thou art that anointed, the son of the living God. All right. So they believe, man. And we got to have that same, that same mindset. Where, where are we going to go? This is the truth. All right. This is the truth. All right. All right. And all things work together for the good that I love you. How about you, my man? So Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect, you know, keep believing, man. We almost out. The Lord, he's, he's with us right now. All right. He always been with us. All right. In when these perilous times continue to uh, amp up, the Lord, he's going to be there also, man. All right. So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Chakodash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Rubal. And I want to give up peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. And Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep enduring. Shalom.